Hey guys, you know me, Tyler, the early bird. I'm giving you plenty of videos today at freaking 8 o'clock or whatever it is now. 9.30, I guess. So, today, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be reviewing the game, and I'll give you one hit. Screaming, screaming the word sand at the top of your lungs when you see sands get revealed in the Nintendo Direct. Don't you just love that feeling? Seriously, how many characters did it take this game for, for this game to be considered an overdose? I mean, I, I kind of cried when Banjo came out, but that's that's besides the point. So, this game, this game, this game sells itself as everyone is here. Everyone is here. Look at all those characters. I can just open up this and just show you all these characters. And that's not including the DLC characters. We got characters of Mario series, Kirby series, Pokemon series, Final Fantasy, Banjo Kazooie. The game's so good, it's almost in my Switch all the time. You see, I don't even have the cartridge in here. So, they're not going to be able to sneak a peek of that cartridge today. Now, is this game worth the hype? I'd say it is. This game is definitely worth the hype. I know I made a joke about it sucking before, but that was just a joke. I swear to God it was a joke. Please don't hate me. And then I did it again. But that was a joke. Pretending to hate something that's popular. So, what makes, it, what makes this game a good fighting game? Well, true... But one of the things that makes this game a good fighting game is that it's actually not a fighting game. Sakurai, the creator of the game, said, the creator of the game gets to tell you what genre it is, unless they're completely wrong. He says this is not a, f a fighting game, this is a party game. Which is kind of right. I'm not going to disagree or agree with him. I'd say I'm kind of neutral. I do disagree that Smash 4 and Smash 4 are two different games. 3DS and Wii U counterparts are just different games. I think that's funny. But, other than that, it's pretty cool. This game brought so much to the table. Everybody's back. Freaking Pichu's back. Solid Snake is back. Young Link is back. And then there's a new adventure mode, finally. Or, as they say in Spanish, Nuevo Modo Adventura. Yeah. I can speak Spanish. I'm totally not reading the back of the box. But it's the new adventure mode is called Spirit Mode, where you get to do spirit battles and do battles that would be just like that. That would be just like uh, that would be just like you're fighting the actual character, and then you regain their spirit and set, and set it free, and then you get to use their spirits to power yourself up. Now this game. Is very good. It's one. It's my favorite Smash Bros. game. Second favorite being Brawl. I know. I know everybody hates that game, but I can't get enough of Brawl. It was my first Smash Bros. game. And before I played Brawl, I had no idea who Solid Snake were. I had no idea who Ya Toon Link was. I had, I basically knew who Link was. I know basically knew the Mario characters, the Kirby characters, the Zelda character, well, a couple of the Zelda characters. The Pokemon characters, and that's basically who I knew. I didn't know anybody else. So going in that blind to a game with so many franchises was kind of weird. I was like, "What the hell is a NES?" And now I know it's now I know the answer to that question. NES is a NES because he's not freaking Sans. This is. We're, this is not time to be doing your Game Fury crap. Oh my god. I just figured out that Sans is Ness. I am Game Fury. Woohoo. Also, don't buy from Burger King. Because they're fo they have foot they have foot lettuce in their food. You will get fo foot lettuce poisoning. And yeah, I know I can't do the voice while I'm sleepy. But get off my back. Actually, no, let me try again. Wait, actually, wait, what was I saying? Burger King foot lettuce, the last thing you want in your Burger King burger. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll get back to the subject at my hand. Why is this game so popular and so good? That is because this is the ultimate crossover. You know how 
Infinity War was the most ambitious crossover of all time. That this game puts Infinity War to shame. They have you could have Pac-Man fighting Ryu from Street Fighter. Do you ever think you'd see that happen? Or Dragon Quest characters like the hero, like Dragon like Eleven, fighting against Mr. Game and Watch. Did you ever think you'd be able to fight Mr. Game and Watch and Dragon Quest characters? I don't think you did. Heck, you could. You this game reunites so many different franchises. You could, you could literally fight Pikachu against Banjo Kazooie. War, War of the Animals. And you know that they and they 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 don't they don't they don't they don't lack on the waifu department. They have Zelda, Peach, Daisy, Palutena, Wii Fit Trainer, Female Corin. Me, Cutter. <laughs> yeah, San, San, Sandler's me costume is the sexiest thing on earth. Okay, I'm telling you that right now. Uh, it, it's it's it, the the Aki Gal factor comes in when when you take off Sandler's mask and it's Peter Griffin. Hey 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 hey. Okay, fine, I'm done. So I'm gonna tell you what, what how I rate this game. I rate this game. At a, at a zero, a perfect zero, which means I say this game is excellent. So, well, should you buy this game? I mean, it's only 50 bucks, 60, maybe 60, depending on where you buy it, because it's a new game, but it's a perfect game to put in your Switch collection. If you don't own a Switch, this is the perfect game to buy the Switch with. Or either that or one of those Zelda games, or Mario Odyssey, which might get a review later. Probably, I'm probably not gonna. Now I'll see. You, I'll see you guys later. I'm probably. I'm gonna have a disclaimer here. I'm probably not gonna review Breath of the Wild because I have a loose copy. I'm. I might. I'm not sure. Just don't. Don't count on it. Just don't. Don't count on it. But I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.